Hello everybody and welcome back. I'm Count Christo and this is the Unnamed Japanese Campaign. Of course you know what it's named because it's in the title, but I don't. <laughs> so if anyone has any suggestions for what it can be named, I mean, you know, do go ahead. Final two pockets of Chinese resistance in the north. Going down. He's going to be there in five days and we can launch these massive naval invasions. We have yet more. Give me more and more support equipment because we're going to need a lot, but... Um, Hospitals in all of these divisions. More CK2 music. Beautiful. Keep driving them back. Just drive them back. Easy money. <clears throat> Rush the cities. You there yet? Two days. There's the turreted secondary battery invented. Nice. <clears throat> uh, we should probably start inventing this stuff. I mean, it's going to take a while, but... We have the naval experience right now. So let's try and help our guys recover from critical hits a bit more. It's a very valuable technology, that one. And the war is all but won, for sure. There goes another big pocket close. I mean, look at that. We've got up to half a million casualties now. Do, 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 do. General has been wounded. It is unfortunate. He is now here. Launch the naval invasions. And that will really mess them up. Once we seize all their coastal cities. There goes Nanking as well. They also won't be too pleased about that. Keep pushing in. Risk of being pocketed. Uh, no doubt. Let's try and mitigate that risk a little. Good. Crushing in here. Crushing in here. Sweet. Shangxi. Uh, I'm quite content to more or less just hold the line against them. Japan SEA. Where domination. Where SEA stands for both South Asia and the ocean. I quite like that as a name idea. Japan SEA. I don't like domination. Japan SEA... Japan rules SEA, maybe. And there go all their coastal cities, the fall of Nanjing. They're now pretty close to capitulation. The United States demands an apology and compensation in response to our sinking of the USS Penne earlier this week. Never bow down to decadent westerns, which I believe gives them a war goal. <laughs> uh -oh. um, next, I would like an aircraft designer just in time. Oh, I can't get the agility one. Darn. Okay, we won't get the air designer then. We'll get an army offense specialist. Or, go to extensive. Yeah, it's good to extensive. So hopefully the US doesn't declare war on us right now, which they could, but they are on, you know, they, they have like the sleeping economy, or whatever it's called, underserved isolationism. So it'd be pretty foolish of them to declare on us now. <clears throat> but we are on non-historical focuses, so they could just go to war with us right now. But I couldn't resist the 200 point political power swing. I think they have the pop-up up, up right now. Either they've chosen not to do it, or they're just about to declare war on us. Either are highly possible. Now you've actually done the naval invasions, you can uh, go back to being commanded by the uh, this dude. You guys can have your commander back. So please don't declare war on me, America. I would really like it if you would not do that. I would much appreciate it. Let's just clock at those guys nice and easy. Come in here. There is our fighter. <clears throat> we could start on some uh, operational integrity. But I believe this does have some stuff that helps naval targeting. Yeah. Yes, let's go this way. <clears throat> Good. Keep going south. Keep going south. 
I've got huge concentration of force in the east right now. Not really necessary. Alright, they must be nearly capitulated now. Where even have they got cities? Oh, they've still got Nanchang, right. Let's get, uh, let's get that encircled. And we can finish this thing. And also, apparently I missed a port right here. Just try not to let that Soviet division be too much of a problem. Okay, I think it's now past the danger window. I think they have elected to not go to war with me. Stop importing steel. Good. Okay. And just, just, you know, wrap these things up. You, there should definitely be a focus for Japan that's like, consolidate China. Okay. There goes China. Why is shang not in the peace deal? That's weird. Okay, so peace deal wise, um, I kind of, you know, want it all, but I think manpower wise, it would be wise. <laughs> You'll excuse the repetition to have some on the left in the interior. So maybe this, <clears throat> and then puppet the rest. That seems good. It's not the best border there ever was. But what are you going to do? So they are now a... Yeah, Imperial Protectorate. <clears throat> oh, and we're still at war with shang -Chi. Okay. Oh, yes, of course. They went to faction. Bum, 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 bum. All right. All you guys assigned to this. Let's get our boys. Let's get our boys up here. And then we'll, we'll sweep them away. Like a mighty tide. Now, people that were in the invasion force, but should be in the mobile army, goes there. Prepare for your last bit of practice. Are you really my best mobile guy? You have no mo you have no traits. He does have the he does have good stats though. Oh, I left them freaking Qingdao. down. Are you kidding me? That's so annoying. Okay. I'm going to save and then just see when the last... It was 20th. I am going to just reload. Because <laughs> that's just annoying. <laughs> you can consider this reload me uh, just like negotiating with my puppet. And saying, look, come on. <laughs> we all know this was a mistake. <laughs> just give me the, give me the province. <laughs> Unfortunate. Oh well, we can uh, we can run this at speed five. We have seen the future. You can go straight here. Good. It is. Uh, I mean, it is obviously cheating, but I mean that would just be an eyesore for the rest of the campaign. It would just be a pain. It wouldn't be strategically a problem. It's one civilian factory. It's just purely. For the, uh, you know, I don't want to. I don't want it to look ugly <laughs> for the whole campaign. Uh, mobile guys, go in here, and then the mobile division. We will actually be lazy. Remember, the only reason to ever activate a battle plan is laziness. So we're going to activate a battle plan right now. Are you? You're the Marines, right? Yeah. <clears throat> Just wondering why I didn't have a guy. There goes Nanking. Nanjing, sorry. Nanking, is, is there a Nanking? Or is Nanking and Nanjing just different ways of saying the same city? Because I know the Q becomes Ch, like Ching. But I don't know, um, I don't know if the Q also does. I'm guessing not. Oh, that naval invasion actually failed because there happened to be a Soviet division there. It's unfortunate. We can come in here. All this area is going to fall as before. Keep cutting down. No need for hesitation. We're going to get slightly less pockets, which means slightly less experience. Uh, but this is this is a loss I can live with just to get this bit redone. 
go. Jolly good. We will take the same border. With the notable exception that I do want that city. Cool. We could take even more. Like we could I mean there's three there's six factories here. So maybe we do this. I mean this this fine. Fine. We'll do this, and then this can be up of it, and then we can feed it like this area. And China will just be Tibet. <laughs> good. That works. Tell me that's not another city. No. Okay, good. Because, I mean, they still have not very much manpower. How many people live up here? Well, they've still got some people up here. You know, a good million, million people up here. And once we feed them this area. Can you justify if your puppets war goals? No. Okay, cool. So there goes China. We have one spare military factory as a result of this. Time to give me those planes, please. Oh, they're not invented yet in this timeline. <laughs> they aren't. Oh, wait. Did we never do the uh, Pane incident in this timeline? Yeah, we didn't. Okay, so that might happen again. Or it might not fire this time. That's funny. Okay, so... We're going to need some more port defenders to get all these Chinese ports nice and garrisoned. And then we can start looking ahead to the next war. And where will that be? And then we've got five somewhere down here. Yeah. And obviously all that, uh, all that resistance is gone now. To tell you how many units are empty? No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Thirteen, I think. So let's build uh, twenty of these. Let's cancel some of these. We can get ten to start with. Okay. Do not like this freaking song. Okay. Here's our military police. Ports and police. You get. You stick with the traditional icon. No, maybe there's a good military police one. You do go red, though. Um, yeah, sure. MP. Makes a whole lot of sense, doesn't it? Now, mobile divisions. Still some in here. So you guys switch over to where you belong. Let's get ready for this attack here. Jolly good, they're all on the way. You guys will go in here with an attack plan, please. You guys are ready. You crappy dudes, um, I don't really have any use for you right now. So just kind of garrison China a bit. You should have a different icon. You can get a trait, but I don't want to give you one. You should go back to where you belong in the other army. Good, good, good. Okay, excellent. Well, that's all with China handled. It's a bit slow, but that's okay. Now, what decision have we got? We can do paramilitary training in the reorganized. It's fine. We can still offer surrender terms to them. That's quite funny. <laughs> I think that means... Oh, that's really funny. I think that means if we lost Korea and all of China to, say, Britain, we could press that button and give it all to China. <laughs> they might even still be our puppet. <laughs> Which would be really quite funny. You have to admit. <laughs> all right, boys, moving to the front. He's focusing on China. So we could justify on him. I think I am going to justify on Guanxi Clique immediately. And uh, we should make it the largest state that we justify for. It does cost 44 political power. But oh well. So, we have choices at this point. Uh, I think we're probably going to stay historical. Uh, we're going to seize this area. And then we're going to start thinking about war with the Allies. But that will be a bit early. So we could go to war with the Cointern. <laughs> they got the purge right now. But 
but I'd rather give the Soviets a two-front war. So I think what we'll do is, while we're fighting a big naval war down here, we'll fight a land war in Asia, which is always good, as everyone knows. Let's uh, start making some plays here. Read base the fighters. It's a bit of a long trip, but I really don't like this airbase placement. We'll get them over there. And we'll switch over where we have this. All right, those free factories. Give me some fighter production, please. This is just engine, engine, engine. Range. Boom. Bada bing. Bada boom, boom. Good. We're going to be short on resources for this. We're going to need lots of these. We cut down on that support equipment. Now it's no longer urgent. What have we invented? What's it uh, yammering at about here? We haven't invented a new ship. So outdated, maybe? Yeah, the new, new hull. Okay. Good. Everyone moving to position. Let's uh, get this thing done. Remember, when you protect her at someone, they give you 90... Sorry, how much is it? They give me 25% of civilian and 65% of military. Now, I don't know what percentage of military factories are destroyed when you annex a province, but it's not an insignificant number. It might actually be such a high number that it's worth protecting people. So yeah, we'll have a land war here and here. Don't reach it's that get zero with the focus. Yeah, there is something about that, isn't there? Uh, the zero. It should be A6M zero cent. It's going to take us a while to get there, though, so I don't mind. I don't mind slight duplication of efforts. We're going to do a full frontal just for the, um, the general experience, mostly. General meaning um, <laughs> commanders, not... Uh, not non-specific. Might as well get a pocket there too. Yeah, we can wrap this up pretty quick. So, short on aluminium. Give me a bit more, please. None of our other subjects have any, but we can develop some in uh, in China. We need another eight, so I will import that. Sure, from the German Reich. Seem like a good trading partner, considering they're going to be helping us fight the Americans, at least by pirating a lot of their ships. By pirating, of course, I mean you know, sinking the submarines. So the Marines are free. Uh, let's, let's organize uh, an invasion with them. Go from here. We'll hit uh, hit here. Another four. We'll land just behind this line to make that a bit simpler. Can't I draw a front line? We should be able to draw front lines past here. Oh well. Oh, let's bounce that a bit. We can go on here. No, no, you should stay over there. Okay, easy wins up here, of course. Ideally, actually, I mean, there's not actually a victory point there, so it's not actually going to make them capitulate any quicker. Just keep on cruising through. They're going to capitulate extremely soon, possibly on this daily tick. No. We'll just keep fighting them then. Just get some nice experience just before we have to call this off. Ah, yes. And uh, you guys stop raiding. You guys stop that. Very good. There goes Shanxi. Um, they have one sieve, one mill here. I think what we'll do is we'll take this and then puppet the rest. Yeah. Just to keep borders kind of vaguely sensible. And then what we'll do is we'll feed this area to like here and here and here and things like that. That'll look good. All right, there they are. We left them with two sieves. Oh, no. Uh, okay, we are short aluminium. It's showing these dies down. Only by 10%, though. Not the worst thing. So, infantry armies. Lose your orders. 
Uh, yeah, we can take all these out. Good. Okay, we are at peace. This justification is coming along. Let's just line up the infantry ready to carry it out. Now we'll see if... Um, we'll see what happens with the communists. Because um, with focus on China... Yes, they... They will eventually declare on me, I think. Yes, provoke Japan. So, we'll see if they do that. Hmm. Alright, and that's 20 minutes. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the war in China. Uh, at least the first phase. Because there is more to come. And then, uh, in the next episode, we will wrap up Guanxi Clique. And we will start paying real attention to longer term planning. But until tomorrow, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.